Right, hello and welcome to all the listeners out there. Richard Gao here. So, first of all, happy Mother's Day. Today is Mother's Day in South Africa. So today is the day that we celebrate all the moms out there, everything that they've done for us, the love that they've given us, the advice that they've given us, uh, the lessons that they've taught us. So today I'd like to celebrate my mom who is currently, my parents live abroad, so unfortunately I won't be able to see them today. But those of you who do get to see your parents in this crazy time, celebrate your mom. Celebrate your dad, for that matter. You know, they did it. It's a team team effort. Team effort. So today is a very, very special day, and this one goes out to all the moms out there. And on that point, I'd like to just raise a, another topic just on celebrating these incredible things in our lives. During this crazy time, there's been a lot of time for reflection. There's been a lot of downtime because we haven't necessarily been completely distracted by our careers and making money and trying to make something of ourselves. We've been able to kind of slow it down, take it down a little bit of a notch and concentrate on the smaller things that we tend to to overlook, like the, the pure fact that a lot of us are grateful and maybe that's the wrong word. A, a lot of us are privileged enough to have a roof over our head, to have food in our belly. There's there's so many people in the world that are struggling with this. And this isn't this isn't a rant to, you know, make everyone feel bad. It's, this is a rant to make everyone celebrate what they have. Everyone has something that they have that they're grateful for, even if it's the smallest thing. Like celebrating the effect that someone else has had on your life. Or just celebrating someone's smile, someone's sense of humor, someone's laughter that just brings so much joy into your life. To celebrate the little things about you that you share with others. I think that's really something that we can ponder on today and we can really think about and take into our hearts and our souls and share with everyone that sense of absolute gratitude, that that unrequited love that's that just never ending love that's so beautiful that humans are able to share with not just each other but our entire world some of the good things that are happening is because of the lockdown the world is healing even just a little bit this is amazing it's amazing to see for the first time i i live quite close to one of the main roads in johannesburg and um there's so many birds around. The sky is clear because industry c- closed down for a little bit. I know that that was very stressful for a lot of people, but for the world, I think it was it was so lovely. It's so lovely to see animals reappearing, birds chirping again. It's it's wonderful. One of the things that I'm going to be grateful for today is that I get to experience those things in the city that I live in. And today I am grateful and I celebrate my mom. Um, so when I, I, this is quite personal, but when I was younger, I, I unfortunately, my, my family lost my mom in a tragic accident when I was nine years old. Um, and this is not a sad story. Um, I do miss my, my real mom, my biological mom. Um, but I was fortunate enough to have an incredible human being come into our lives, come into my dad's lives, come into, you know, my family. And through thick and thin, through (laughs) ups and downs, she came into our household with three teenage boys. Now, for anyone out there that has kids that, you know, has teenagers or has raised teenagers knows that this is no easy task. So my, my stepmom, I guess that's, that's, the technical term, but for all purposes, she is my mom. She's been my mom for most of my life. She has raised me to be the man that I am today, and I am so grateful that I had the opportunity of meeting this incredible woman, learning from her, and learning how to love from her. So, (laughs) on that that very, very personal note, happy Mother's Day to all the moms, whatever way, shape, or form they may take. Moms are incredible. Moms are love and moms care. So celebrate them today. And on that, have a beautiful morning. And if it's evening, have a beautiful evening.